I am a parent. I'm not getting paid to do this. I am a parent. My son was murdered. And I'll put anybody on the spot and tell you, has your son or daughter been murdered? Did you have an investigation? That's what it's supposed to be all about. And then when someone calls me conspiracy theorist, I say, well, let's, wasn't Bin Laden, do we, we, we know he did it? Well, shouldn't he have an investigation and find out on the proper methods? But as a parent, and it, 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 that's all I'm doing. And no one has proven to me even close at how the, what their conspiracy theory was. So from reading every single day, there's no doubt in my mind that the United States orchestrated the murder of my son. Period. I don't need an investigation. I really don't need an investigation. So from there, I, you, know, you know, and again, I'm, I had no plans to do all this, but I did it. But the Zero movie I made in Phoenix. So I, you know, people think they let me come out and speak. I don't get on TV anymore. I'll get on mostly radio stations, but people to have you know, are involved in 9-11. Uh, I did Press for Truth. When I did that, I, I was not at the position I'm in now. Personally, I didn't like Press for Truth when I first made it, but it's worked out great because I've asked people to watch it. It's like a first grade reader to me. It just introduces you to the possibilities that something wrong. It turned my sister. My sister, I remember talking to her. And she just couldn't believe that I felt this way. And this is right after 9 11, I was questioning things. But she read and she watched Press for Truth, and now she has all those questions. It's my son now. He just had a very difficult time in high school. He teaches high school, and someone sort of criticized him about 9 11. But he just doesn't have, the, he doesn't have enough information. It's so confusing. You just can't keep throwing all this information at me. He said, I just felt so bad. I couldn't confront this person because I just didn't know what to say. You know, how do you do that? And I said, well, don't worry about it. Just, you know, that's why you read. I mean, information is very, it's very powerful. Knowledge is very powerful. So anyway, I did the, the um, uh, Zero Investigation, and it's an Italian group, and I didn't think anything of it, but they called me up uh, last year, in 2007, they said, look, we want you to come to the Rome Film Festival. And I actually got a chance to walk down the red carpet, and it was a huge success as far as the next day you had, in my hotel lobby, they had nine, maybe not nine, but at least seven newspapers. And on the front page, they had the towers burning or falling. It got great, great coverage. And that really made me feel good because just the fact that they're talking about it. <coughs> we went to movie theaters, I did. The next day, you know, they had a translator with me. And all sorts of news organizations. We sat down and talked, and I talked exactly. I, of course, I didn't use you know curse words, or, you know they didn't want to hear that. But then we had a we had a uh, went to a movie, and even in Italy they set things up. They had you know someone in the audience, but I'm only uh, well, oh in the TV uh, interview. There's about six people in there. Of course, they all spoke Italian. The first guy, a professor from Rome, he stood up. Now, of course, the translators talked to me. And he says, the 9-11 truth community is nothing but a bunch of Nazis, Jew haters, racists. And this woman is, and every, you know, everybody's in shock. Well, the Italians, everybody does have a temper, it seems. Everybody, but it, it was a diversion. The guy was set up there to, to stop the discussion about it. The whole stage just started screaming and yelling at each other for 15 minutes. So he did his job. You know, he just deflected from the conversation. And finally, they let me get the mic. And I just said, and, and that's what I'll tell people. That's why, you know, I'm part of the 9-11 truth community. But I am a parent first. Just like when I spoke with Peaceful Tomorrows. I am a parent first when I talk about 9-11. I said, and I told him exactly the way I felt. That this is an inside job, or I like to use the word orchestrated. Okay, so that, and, and here's a quick story. I'm down. I'm waiting down at the gas station yesterday. Someone comes up to me, and that's the beauty that I get that opportunity to speak to the world, and I'm speaking the way I'm speaking, minus the few F words or whatever. But I get that opportunity. I'm down at the gas station waiting for two of my. Uh, we always go out to lunch with my uh, my son Bobby's uh, friends. 
after the thing, everything down at uh, Ground Zero. And they, uh, my wife and I are sitting there. Some man walks up to me. I couldn't understand a word he's saying. He's a Russian. And he came up to me and he said, is your name Bob McElfane? And I said, yeah. And he said, he saw zero. And he said, the movie's being shown today, he said, to over 30 million people in Russia. It's being shown in Australia. It's being shown all throughout Europe. So, the word is getting out there. I think more so. I, I feel more optimistic. You know, around the world, it seems like, you know, we're in the bubble. Of course, the people in here aren't in the bubble. But the rest of the United States. And I, I look at, that's why I look at it, my neighborhood. I just, I, I can't get anywhere in my neighborhood. But then no one wants to talk to me, so I don't get a chance to get anywhere. Uh, I did a documentary on Wednesday when I first got up here. I got up here early and did a documentary in Brooklyn. And the guy asked me a great, he asked me some great questions. They really did a good job, so I get, again got a chance to expand on my feelings. He asked me, he says, let's go back to World War II. We all know now, everyone knows this without a doubt, FDR knew that Pearl Harbor was coming. How many people died in Pearl Harbor? I don't know. What, a couple thousand, right? Three. Now he said, if you're a parent back there, 1950, or say just project up to now, he said, if, they, if the government came to you and said, if you speak up and allow this information to get out, or let's just say 1950, say I knew for sure, I'm in the same boat that I was back in, 1945, and it's 1950 now, or 1951, and I'm going around the country, but the government came up and said, look, we'll admit to you that we had to allow Pearl Harbor to happen. Now, to me, that's murder. But what you get from politicians, what you get from so many people, you know, I've been called a traitor. But the question was, would you stop your investigation for the good of the country? Because these politicians told you that we had to stop Nazism. We had to make the world a better place. We have to get the truth about what happened. And I said, without thinking, I said, absolutely not. I would have the same anger, and I would hate to say it, I can't say it now, but I, I said it, you know, I can say it. If I was in 1950, I'd want to shoot the man. If he knew that my son was going to be murdered, I don't really care about the country then. If we had to resort to something like that, I don't care. I will not, under any circumstances, back off as far as, hey, murder is murder. What FDR did was murder, as far as I'm concerned. And so that... That was a great question, actually, because I've done a lot of interviews, and that has never... What's that? Oh, okay. And so, I wanted to reflect just about... I, I saw John Field yesterday, and what he does. And it's, it's amazing what uh, We Are Change does. But John Field, I, I got a chance to talk to him right now right at Ground Zero during the ceremony, and he'd just gotten back from Washington, D.C., giving out DVDs to all the um, congressmen. Okay, I have no faith in the Congress. I have no faith in our government right now. I really don't. I think nothing has ever changed. I believe in this movement. I, ha I do have hope. I just I have to, personally, I have to have hope. But I don't know if it's going to be through Congress. I really don't. But what John Field does, I, empathy, you know, empathy's a thing. I don't think a lot of people really understand what Ground Zero was like that day. I've investigated my son's murder. I took my son's body home that week. I found the doctor who examined him. And there's no question in my mind, he died of an explosion. I still haven't found the worker or whomever found him. I think, so I, that's a very important part, but they gave me his wallet. I was able to get his wallet. Now, I've talked to other people, they won't give the wallets up. They'll give you all the money that was in the wallet, they'll send you that money, but they won't give the wallets up. Well, the smell...